We had our Litter Media cameras out at Piketon Friday night as they took on the Wellston Golden Rockets, and it was all Rockets in the first half, a 44-9 lead at halftime. We caught up with both coaches after the game. Uh, it was ugly, the game, especially that first half. Ugly, ugly, real ugly. Um, physically, they just took it to us that first half, just physically manhandled us, and we knew they would come out like that, and we didn't match that. Um, and I don't know why. We were much more physical last week. This week was just, that first half was, was ugly. The second half, I, I'm proud of my young men. They didn't quit. That second half, they came out ready to go and took it to them, but we were just down too much by then. Well, I thought offensively, I thought our passing game went pretty well the first half. Second half, I think we was trying to play some more kids and move some people around. We didn't look so sharp, but I thought the first half we looked really well. We scored in all three phases. Special teams, defense, and offense. So when you do that, you've usually played a pretty good game. Uh, the second half, really. I mean, the second half we played well. We were physical. But that first half, we was just catching it, catching everything instead of going at them. Um, so it's a learning. We, we got some young kids. I mean, we're playing a lot of young kids. We really are. And uh, so it, you're going to learn. That's an older team. You're not running back. I knew he was good, uh, number 11. And we, got a, we got a dose of them. Week three of the season has our Litter Media cameras back in Pike County. This time, the Unigoda Sherman's heading to Waverly to take on the Tigers. Until then, we'll see you on the sidelines.